Good morning. Today's Mass comes to us from the Shrine, National Shrine of St. Therese in Darien, Illinois. And so we begin our celebration by blessing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. Coming into the Lord's presence, we ask for forgiveness and healing, especially for the times when we were unaware of God's presence in our lives and in the lives of the people we meet each day. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you satisfy our thirst for salvation. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send us your Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church a merciful God, gathered by the Holy Spirit, may she be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, Men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, un I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus himself who said, "Is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he said that he would never, they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took part. For our temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing, sing to, to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, the, of earth. the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing, Sing to, to God, God o all kingdoms, kingdoms of, of earth. the earth. Over Israel is his majesty, his power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. 
sing, sing to, to God, God all kingdoms, kingdoms of the earth. The earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth the Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Christ, St. Paul has been the heart and soul of the Christian community in Ephesus for almost two and a half years. And now that he is leaving them, he is also warning them that things will change. That perhaps the peace and the joy that they have experienced will be attacked by many people who do not agree with them, who just as well do away with them. And we hear the commands that Jesus said many times during his ministry. Be vigilant, stay awake. Paul leaves the disciples with this prescription for what they must do next. And that is that we must help the weak, those who are most in need. And that is what Jesus said. As Paul quotes him, he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Sometimes we hear that and we say, well, maybe it's just the other way around. I think both of them are true. But Jesus was also challenging his disciples during his last prayer and instruction with them. He warned them that things are going to be tough. And I think as a Christian community, we can identify with that today. There are many people who don't believe. There are many people who don't believe in God. And many people that do not believe in humanity and the giftedness that God shares with all of us to be shared with others. But we also see so much good that has come out of this pandemic that we're experiencing. And much as we want to have comfort and have the way the way they were, it's going to change. And I think the scriptures, St. Paul is telling his disciples that and we need to hear those same words, that things are not going to be the same the way they have been. But he also gives us the gift. And he says, I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you orphans, Jesus said. I will send the Holy Spirit and he will guide you. And perhaps that is one of the big challenges for all Christians. That sometimes we become so self-sufficient 
that we think it's all about us, or we would never say that, but we act that way. And in reality, there is nothing that I and you can do that God hasn't given us in order to share with others. We too are weak. And when Jesus says, take care of those who are most in need, he is talking about us. But I think that is the challenge. Do we really believe that we are in need, just as so many millions of people in our everyday life? And I think the biggest challenge is not just simply to reach out and maybe to do certain things for them, but Jesus gave us the perfect example of love. And love can be interpreted in many different ways, and we do practice that in many different ways in our lives. But the highest level and the greatest love is to give of ourselves. And that is always the most difficult thing. We too are poor and weak, and yet today we need to remember that our best gift to others is the gift of ourselves. And so as we prepare for the coming feast of the Holy Spirit, perhaps the prayer that we often pray and should pray during this week is, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. The first disciples of Jesus served the community of faith, just as we are asked to serve our community. And so today we pray for those who have been baptized and for all the baptized in the world, that Christ's risen glory be our constant inspiration and joy. For this we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the leaders and citizens of all countries that their commitment to peace and justice will inspire others to share their giftedness with each other. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have asked for our prayers, with those of special needs, we remember especially the, all the requests of the members of the Little Flower Society, that Lord, you will respond through the intercession of St. Therese all of our needs, and that we accept them according to your will, we pray to the Lord. We pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he will appoint a new bishop for our diocese in Joliet. For this we pray to the Lord. And let us pray also for all the Carmelites who are selecting new leadership for, this com for the now coming years that God's Spirit will guide each and every one of us in our selection, we pray to the Lord. And for everyone who is in a particular moment of pain and suffering, that your presence, Lord, will help them and restore peace of mind and heart, we pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we thank you now for listening to all of our needs, and we pray that we ourselves will extend the giftedness that you have given to us with others, and we do so joyfully in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. 
And now let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our faithful spouse, Saint Therese, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with each one of you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. When the paraclete comes, whom I will send you, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, Make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Eucharistic celebration is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. And we greet Mary, Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, St. Therese, 
Have a wonderful day.